So today we're going to go over uh, how to adjust the duplex light and ultralight frame as well as fitting it on uh, each person's individual body. Now, uh, one thing I'll say uh, out of the gate is on the older Gen 1 and Gen 1 duplex frames, where the three bar slider was, there was two stitch lines. Um, and people get confused with that with the newer systems. Uh, what it used to look like is there was a stitch line, let's say up here and a stitch line down here and the three bar slider was in the middle of that. And that was kind of your, your God dimension. That's where you needed to adjust the shoulder straps in or out until that lined up with your clavicle. Uh, the new system isn't like that. What you're really looking for is these shoulder straps to match up with the contour of your shoulders as well as not be extended too far. So as far as that goes, when we go into the fitting video, we'll talk about adjusting it to, to Dana's body. But just so you know, this three bar slider can be moved to whatever dimension you need it to be or whatever point, meaning if you like it below your clavicle, above, dead center on it, it doesn't really matter. You can move this. It doesn't need to be between the two stitch lines. You can move it to wherever you need it to be, as well as the shoulder straps. Um, obviously, you're kind of a base idea is you want about an inch and a half above this stitch line here that that three bar slider is going to start there. Um, but you can you can adjust it from that point. So as far as how to adjust the shoulder straps, these are new. We have four pieces of binding here that the shoulder straps go into. There's webbing that comes out of the bottom of the shoulder strap that comes down, winds around the bottom of the frame, and then tensions right here. So you can actually reef on this hard enough to adjust the shoulder strap um, and once maybe you get more comfortable with that, you might do that, but we're not suggesting that out of the gate. So what we're going to want to do is loosen this Velcro right here, and we're going to pop that open. Once we pop that open, we're going to want to take off these Delta straps. Now the belt is just going to fall off. Now we left one of these open and one clo or one ran through. You definitely want this webbing right here running through this belt loop, and that's more or less a guide. Now, this one, obviously, it'll still work. You don't have to have it that way, but it's supposed to be ran through. So this is wrong, and that's correct. So I need to shorten the shoulder strap, so I need it to go down. So if I need that to go down, that means I need the tension on this to be tighter. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to have to lay this out just because these shoulder straps are pretty tight in that binding. I personally just kind of push and pull. So I'll grab the binding here and I'll kind of heave it a little bit and then I'll pull here and then I'll tension it. Now, if I can get all this out of the way. You can see right here the dimensions, right? If I'm running it shorter or longer, and you're gonna basically, or what I try to do is base the uh, the height off of the bottom of the shoulder strap so you get them even. Now, in some cases, like me, my right shoulder is quite a bit bigger than my left, so I'm gonna have my left side longer or shorter than my right side. This is gonna be extended. So it's pretty simple. Um, you just kind of heave this a little bit, it'll work its way shorter, and then pull it around, tension it here. That's all you have to do. Put it back together, try it on, and you're ready to go. You can do that again with it all, you, you can shorten it or lengthen it with everything put together, but it is a little bit of a pain in the butt, you'll have to practice with it. So that is the biggest adjustment, that's what you have to worry about right there is the shoulder strap length. Once that's correct, then you just slide that three bar to where it's comfortable as well as adjust the low lifter angle. And we'll do that in a minute here with Dana. All right, so this is uh, Dana's, this is actually a prototype frame. It's brown. We do not make that. Uh, this is one Dana got to test out early. Um, and we have this set up for her. Now, one of the things I wanted to talk about before Dana throws this on is 
With Dana, these are the shorter shoulder straps. Um, you have about an 18 inch torso, 17 and a half. Um, you know, if, if Dana, let's say, was 40 pounds heavier, she would need the longer shoulder straps to go over the contour of her upper body. But in this case, they're pretty, they're pretty far down. They're not quite bottomed out. But what that does is the shoulder strap where it gets uh, narrower, there's a little bit of play here. You can choose to actually pull this shoulder strap out and just run this in front of it. You don't have to have the shoulder strap through here if there's a bunch of play in there. It doesn't matter if it's in there or not. You also may want it to curve a little bit more around you and you may want not want to run it through there. This really has to deal more with really short people or really tall people of where these will run through. In the most case with tall people, it's going to run through them all. With really shorter people, you may not run it through that one. In Dana's case, it works fine with it um, running through that one. So you can, I mean, you really can customize it, I guess, customize it is what I'm getting at. So here you go, Dana. Dana has about a hundred pounds in there. <laughs> Just kidding. Close. So step back just a little bit. So what we're looking at here is we want to make sure that this three bar slider is in line with her clavicle or pretty close. So her clavicle is right about here. So it's pretty close to in line. What we're also looking at is she doesn't have this massive gap in here. A lot of people will, I'm going to loosen this up, will leave these loose, the shoulder straps, leave this tight all the time. And every time I see a picture, there's a giant gap um, like that. You do not want that giant gap between your shoulder straps and shoulder straps, shoulder pads. So Dana's is fit just about perfect. I can get my fingers in there. This is contouring to her back. This let tab loop that we left that shoulder strap go through, it's pivoting around her shoulder right at the point we want it to. Um, if she was any shorter, we would need to pull it out there, pull it out of there. And then as far as load lifter angle, she's got it. She's been doing a lot of backpack cardio, so she's got it on the shortest dimension here. Well, not the shortest, but almost. Um, if she was carrying super heavy weight, we would go up higher to where it's more of at a 45 degree angle if she was carrying 60, 70, 80 pounds. Now, from the front view... This right here is like almost borderline too long, but it doesn't rub Dana's like biceps or inner arm. And like I said in the back, we can shorten it um, if we need to. So there's plenty of room there. So the next thing is the chest strap. Now with men, it's not as much of an issue as it is with, with women uh, as far as where that thing runs. So what you want to make sure and do is there's a three bar slider right here. That's adjustable. Um, just because this bottoms out on that, that doesn't mean that that's the only place it can go. That chest strap is the sternum strap, strap is meant to go up or down. So as far as women go, I mean, I kind of always suggest it to go like, well, it's perfect for her. Yeah, right there. So if you go any lower, um, it becomes a problem for some women. And if you go any higher, it'll start to cut like into your neck. And it's just not comfortable, nor is it really doing its job of keeping the shoulder straps stable. So now, if Dana was running a 26 inch frame, for example, it would be, you know, two inches higher. She could get away with that if she needed to. But what we would want, we would need to do really is run the shorter shoulder straps in the 26 inch frame. And then she would have the load lifter angle bottomed out at all times. That doesn't mean that's a necessarily a bad thing. It's not perfect, uh, but I mean, you can do it. So pop that off real quick. So Dana, how tall are you? Five nine. And then you are, and your you're actually torso is not, you're, you're 17 inches. So um, let's say, for example, let's say Dana was not Dana and Dana was a man. And Dana was five nine and 200 and... 
45 pounds and uh, had a 30 inch pant length. Technically, you're, a person of that size is probably going to have to run the longer shoulder straps more than the shorter. If you're really big upper body, that kind of throws a monkey wrench in things because the shoulder strap has to curve around that big barreled chest. And if you have too short of shoulder straps, this portion here will be way too high. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, you know, other than that, the only thing that I wanted to kind of point out, when Dana had um, this on, if you're pulling this load lifter and it bottoms out on this three bar slider, you definitely need to slide this lower. And in Dana's case, her clavicle was about three quarters of an inch lower than this three bar slider when she just put it on. So what we're gonna do is lower that down. That's three quarters of an inch she needs. Now, that normally isn't going to be a problem, meaning a problem if Dana could have left it the way it was and it, w it wouldn't really have been an issue. But if you get a super heavy load and you go to reef on those load lifters and you bottom out on those, a lot of people wonder what's going on. Those probably aren't adjusted correctly. You need to slide them forward. So um, again, the first part of the video, you can see how we adjusted the shoulder straps. The most important thing is the contour of this shoulder strap matching up to the contour of your body. Then you move the three bar slider to line up with your clavicle and you're good to go. There's not really a right or wrong dimension exactly. It's more what's comfortable for you and then adjusting them to that, uh, to your specific body.